Good evening. It's uh, Michael Pinsky again. Hope I didn't get caught with uh, my mouth gaping open. You know, like when you first get you on camera, you see some people and they pause it. You have this stupid look on your face. You ever see that? When you pause somebody else's video, especially if you're trying to look for uh, like a, a good pose on a woman. Not that they look stupid, but you, you, you sometimes have a hard time getting that perfect pose, you know. In any event, um, I'm hoping I didn't start this video with my ugly mouth drooping open. All right, so this, uh, you know, multi-platform, um, working multi-platform and interoperability between between these um, these files and how um, we try to work synonymously, because um, that's important. Now, mapping, um, inserting CAD data, we're going to talk about again. And mapping layer colors. So I just breezed through it. I told you to go back to it. Now, mapping layer colors for inserted CAD files, layers within the file are assigned a Revit line weight based on the weight assigned to each layer by the CAD software application that created the files. If the layer line weights are set to default in the CAD file, they will follow a translation template. You can configure that maps the layer colors to Revit line weights. To assess these settings, select the Insert tab and click the Dialog Launcher at the bottom right of the Import panel. Doing so opens the Import Line Weights dialog box shown in Figure 7.2, which I'm going to show you right now. So you go to the Insert tab and you go to this Import arrow. I'll just uh, save the project. Yeah, you can see the project up here. Save the project. Now, as you can see, um, there are 255 possible DXF DWG numbers. 255. And as you can see, um, I, oh, this is already, I've already done this. I really don't want to do, I, shit, I did it before. I really don't want to do it again. Well, ah, I did it before. I didn't want to, I wanted to show you before I did it. All right, so, and the, well, there they are. These are the, these are the mapping styles, the map. Yeah, well, you could say styles. You could say palettes. Palettes is a good word. Mapping algorithms. How about mapping spectrums? How about color palettes? Mapping um, harmonic, ha mapping harmonically, mapping harmonic colors, not uh, congru incongruent ones. Uh, mapping harmonic uh, synchronous um, optical networks. Synchronous optical networks. Now, again, uh, they have the AIA, American Institute of Architects, BS1192, British Standard, uh, CP83, Singapore Standard, ISO 135567, uh, ISO, International Standards Organization, 13567. Now, and those are the uh, different ones. I had the, this one loaded. Uh, I'm going to bring in the International Standards one this time. Import line weight files. These are text files. And some folks create them themselves. As you can see, just repopulated it. So now, DWG color 1 will be mapped to line weight 3. But now, keep in mind, these are line weights, okay? So these values only apply to lines and layers set to default. Line weight in source DWG DXS file. Lines and layers with set line weight value automatically imported at that width. Well, that makes a huge difference. Makes a huge difference. And I'll show you why. Um, because I'm going to show you just something, and I'm going to give you a little some, some stories, and I'm going to probably slow down and probably just end it early because we do um, we do have to get through. We have to start talking about using options during importing and linking, and um, we have to start talking about um, you know configuring this and manipulating the CAD data. And there's a lot, there's a lot to this chapter. Um, real world scenarios. Well, I'm gonna give you real world scenarios for starters. Well, here is a project um, that I worked on. This was, this was a rough one. It's like I said, it was Columbia University. Um, I'm sorry, Rockefeller University. It was a rough one. But there was one, there's a, a couple others, a few others actually. Well, this is, um, I'll show you what this project is. It's easier. A picture's worth a thousand words. This is um, Delta Terminal, a JFK airport. Queens, New York, and this was the electrical contractor that I had worked with, the Volpe Electrical Corporation. Uh, they're out of, um, actually, this is them right here. 
And this was a very nice gentleman, this very nice uh, catering Sicilian, this catering Guinea Sicilian from Brooklyn. Anyway, uh, him and uh, him and I and uh, two other gentlemen, Danny Sustic and Rob Sedita, I wouldn't call them gentlemen. <laughs> they, were, they, they could be abrasive, uh, to say the least. But we worked on this project together, and I, I learned a lot from them. Um, I learned that I will draw what the project manager tells me to draw, and so I am. I'm drawing what I can, but I wish you'd tell me something more. Because I, I really don't know, at this point, it's coming down to brass tacks. So, again, again, this Guinea Sicilian um, was instrumental in this. Now, this is the electrical um, level two electrical distribution system. Now, um, if you look here, you can see that there is, um, you know, furniture poke throughs. You read through some of this if you want. Furniture mounted for power for boarding pass readers. Coordinate feed from the gate. Hmm. Coordinate feed from the gate. <laughs> Sounds like a horse racing. Sounds like the Kentucky Derby. Churchill Downs. Coordinate feed from the gate. Kiosk in the topping slab. Coordinate run with communications conduit. Well, <laughs> that's, that's easier said than done. Furniture. Furniture, feed, poke through from floor below. I'm giving you a direct order. I never did get my furniture from uh, HRA. Uh, missing an invalid. All right, so, um, yeah, Danny was really, really instrumental in doing these branch branch circuits. These branch circuits. See, that's the thing. You know, I'm so involved with pipe and box on the high end that these small little branch conduits um, can trip you up because uh, there's a method and a madness to it. And, and, the, and the foremen want the pull boxes where they want them. And, and, and that's why you have to go in there as a draftsman, and you gotta just listen to the foreman and have him instruct you or her instruct you where exactly it is. They want these pull boxes, you draw it for them, they give it a quick look over, and if you're pretty accurate, they're gonna be happy with it. And they'll catch it if it's wrong. But again, these are the types of things that, um, that can really help you down the road. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, that's why I keep these on, you know, on the servers, on the cloud servers, because I refer back to them. There's a lot of conduit coming out of here. Some of this is up in the air, and some of this is slab. Some of this is slab. And then, it, you know, it goes hardwire from there. So, um, as you can see, um, I, I did most of this by hand in, uh, in Starbucks. In any event, hmm. this is how it looks in CAD. This is how it looks in CAD. It's on a five-foot piece of paper. I just decided I wanted it on five foot so I could fit the whole level on uh, one on, on three sets of drawings. It wasn't standard size paper. It's 36 by 60. That's what I wanted. I wanted it in tenths. I wanted it in tenths. Five, 10, 15 feet. So it was easy to work with. And I guess number two comes in. He starts arguing with me. I wanted it on 11 by 17. I'm ready to drive him up a wall. How many does he want? You know, what do I look like? Uh, Bayon printing press? <coughs> Bayon paper? I'm uh, sorry, sir, but I'm not dealing with that shit. He came in shaking like a leaf as I screamed at him. I feel bad. He came in shaking like a fucking leaf. I screamed at him. I lost my temper. I lost my temper. I was under the gun, man. I was, that was when they arrested me for fucking false for someone called in on me. So I was making a bomb at the fucking YMCA or something. Fucking assholes. Someone fucking had it out for me. They wanted me in, in the can. Somebody wanted me in the fucking can. They wanted me out of the way, man. They wanted me out of $80,000 bond. They had me in there on the $80,000 bond. Could have went a lot different. Could have went a lot different. All right, so again, yeah, what under the bridge? What are you going to do? Shit happens, right? Just keep in mind, you know, I got friends in high places. I got friends in high places. Or enemies, <laughs> which are even worse. But this was back in the day. I can't believe it's been nine years. It's been nine fucking years since then. And uh, I haven't lost sight of the, I haven't lost sight of the prize. I'm still in it to win it. So um, that being said, um, a lot of different things going on at this airport. Now, all right, so before I go any further, I'm going to come back to this drawing in a second. But what I want to show you is uh, how we map these layers, how we map these colors S synonymously uh, so there's no harmonic imbalance. You don't want harmonic imbalance. If you get harmonic imbalance, you wind up in the can with Billy Sullivan from the Port Authority Police Department. <laughs> <laughs> vented out his frustrations. 
<laughs> he, I hope he's better. He works at ITT now. Hopefully he's not ready to fucking pop a fucking fuse. Blow a gasket. Billy was fired up, I heard. He used to tell me some stories about some bam cops. And when he was in there, his fucking girlfriend was driving him nuts and this and that. And he was like, we could see Billy needed some medicine. Billy was Billy Sullivan. And he was always a docile kid. You know, Billy Sullivan. He was a docile kid. When I saw him in the county, boy, he was ready to fucking explode. He was pissed off at the cops, screaming, I'll throw you all sorts of shit Billy was telling me. Billy was, I was just, I was like, fuck, man, I'm going to sleep, man. I'm just tired. I just need some rest from this, uh, this particular project. But, um, yeah, that's when they, someone, someone made a miscellaneous call to the YMCA and said I was making a fucking bomb. They came in and they fucking had me at gunpoint. That's the second time, third time in my life I've been held at gunpoint. All right, so, um, ha, anyway, you want to take my course? So, um, yeah, so let's map these. So let's map these harmon harmonically. So we don't um, heat up the neutral. Um, now, so that being said, insert, bring up this tab. Now this is going to be let's let's go English. Want to go English? Let's go English. Let's go. Let's let's, let's go because I, I invest in British to, uh, British American tobacco this morning. Now watch what happens. Notice before I do ah, shit. I gotta go back and show you something. This is what you'll you'll find. You try printing this out in AutoCAD, and you're not. You obviously yellow is a hue. You're gonna have some difficulty seeing it. Now, granted, and I can go. We can go in, and we can start looking at the plot configuration dialog box. And we're going to do all that, but first, let's get into Revit and, and notice that not much has changed. So I'm just going to do it. Oop, if it, if it thanks. Oop, did I do it? Oh no, I didn't do it. Oh no, I didn't do it. Hold on, hold on. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I hit load. Right, British. Yeah, the British are coming. The British are coming. It, now I'm going to hit OK. It's going to. Th no, was it not going to come in? Is it going to make a liar out of me? Is it going to make a liar out of me again? Oy vey, oy vey, hold on. All right, so maybe he doesn't want to go British. Maybe he wants to go back to AIA again. Let's do it this way. See if um, that'll keep it harmonically balanced. Nope, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, what, it, what is it that could be prohibiting me from bringing this in? Um, okay, well, until I can figure out why, let's go back and do this. All right, so anyway, yellow's a hue. Yellow's a hue. Now, again... I said I made this paper 60 by 36 just because I wanted it so that it didn't take up that many sheets of paper. And it was easier to carry around the field. I had made one that was 10 foot that encompassed pretty much all of it. Now, uh, Danny, Danny ripped it off the wall. And ran. They, they wouldn't let me on the site. They weren't ready to let me on the site. Danny had to run back and forth without a drawing. And he finally just ripped it off the wall and ran into the friggin' terminal with it. It was such a funny job. What, I was working with Gensler. Gensler, what a marvelous architectural firm they had over, over, over at the Sky Team. Gensler, there was a woman there. They were real, they were aces. And, you know, the first day we got there, all it was was a catering event. Tony just, it was just one shaving dish after another shaving dish of just, just really good Italian food. I, I was like, listen, I can't eat, man. If I eat, I'm going to fall asleep. And sure enough, they didn't give, I fucking ate, I fell asleep at my desk. And then it just became a real pain in the ass. I would get fucking Bob wanted me to fucking transfer the data with a fucking USB. I'm like, fuck this fucking guy. You know, why? It was really started getting to be a real circus at the end. But we got it done. We got it done. And then I just blew my fucking fuse. Because I, I, I really felt like it was an accomplishment. I, I think I, I actually had a, uh, I had a psychotropic moment at the end. I was just so enthralled with the fact that I was able to get it done um, that I actually had a psychotropic moment. And it'll happen. It's almost like, and I was I was I was on Adderall, but I was uh, I was snorting it. I wasn't I wasn't uh, taking it as directed, um, because I had I just knew I, I it was working for me. It was a, it was a solution to uh, a dyslexia problem um, that I was having and uh, a psychotropic problem because of the software itself, in addition to my substance abuse problem. <laughs> so, but that substance abuse problem had gone away years prior. I had actually stopped. Um, uh, being a substance abuser years, years and years before the project. And it took that long for me to recover neurologically. Um, and it gets better when you use it. It gets better, you, you know, the mind is a terrible thing to waste neurologically. So I uh, either uh, try not to deviate from your faculties early on in life and stay that way or run to, and run and play catch up with the sounding gun at the, at the, uh, track me in the relay race uh, and that's what I've been doing for the last 51 years um, ever since my mother washed my mouth out with palm oil soap 
and my father got a snake tattoo on his fucking leg. <laughs> Ever since those two dots showed up, my life hasn't been the same. I mean, that sounds kind of weird, right? It sounds kind of wacky. Well, in any event, it is. It's a wacky industry. All right, so let's just do this. Let's go to plot this out, right? I'm just going to preview it. I'm going to hit preview. Let's take a look at it. Take a look, and bingo. Boom. Right on there. We got a half inch on this side, a half inch, a little bit. We got a quarter inch on this side. It's a very, very thin narrow margin. It's a very, very thin narrow margin, I say. It's a very thin narrow margin. And uh, the reason being is that uh, maybe I don't want anyone to see the file uh, directory tree in the uh, plot stamp. Or I, uh, you know, I, I, I want a full bleed margin. What am I, you know, trying to commit suicide? Full bleed in margin. This is, this is a margin bleed, bleed printing, man. This is a lot of, and there's a lot of orphaned external references. Like all the logos, like all of the logos that I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to show you, <laughs> of my new airline, <laughs> like Clark Griswold from uh, National Lampoon's Vacation. But again, look at Danny. Was Danny was masterful, man, masterful foreman. Aces in my book. Aces. Always be aces, those guys. I have fond memories of uh, the whole team over there. That whole team over there at, at JFK. I, I have fond memories. But again, I can't say enough about, about these folks here. I can't say enough about these folks here. Um, all right, so and I'll, I'll leave them on a, on, a, on a positive note, I promise. I'll leave them on a positive note. And I'm telling you, you want something done, you give these folks a call. And I went back to work for them as an expediter. Not an expediter, but just working in the warehouse. I was broke. Um, you know, I was working with this really old, decrepit old man. The warehouse was a fucking mess. I had to clean that up, too. What else did they have? And they had this big seven-foot fucking spook. <laughs> this fucking huge. I think they were training him to replace Manute Ball. I think they were training him to replace Manute Ball. Uh, Manute Ball. Fucking, he was like seven foot something. I, what is he, lighting the fucking parking lights? Was he lighting the lights in the parking lot with his fucking fingers? You got to see the size of this one. I vey, this guy, he's huge. Uh, anyway, uh, they, grow cold. They, they grow them tall down the farm. And he, they're right by the Brooklyn Navy Yard, all these clowns. So they're all playing tricks over there. They're all playing tricks. But this is it. You know, I plot it out, right? And this is where I want you to see something. Now, I'm going to plot this to PDF. I'm just going to plot it to my, uh, I'll plot it to, I, I don't want to run out of space on this hard drive. So I'm just going to, I'm going to bring it up to, uh, to T. I'm going to bring it to um, Revenant Instructional Lecture Lab. I'm going to bring it to, um, uh, this is upside down. Appendix B, oh, my colon. Uh, this is upside down. I'm going to bring this to interoperability. I'll plot it here. Hopefully, it'll open up when I'm done. If not, I, I just want it to open up a Windows Explorer. I, I really don't want to really worry about it. And we'll, we'll do what it says, yes. And it's perfectly formatted in a web browser. And I could just share this. You know, I could, well, not with, the, not with the new Facebook app, I can't. But I could share it via OneNote, Mail, or Skype. Um, I can cast to device, or I could just print screen, or I can maybe copy the URL. But notice that it's it's it'll only go to a secure server. I can't just post it to Facebook. You know, I, I can't just post it to Facebook um, unless you know. But there's a whole new app. There's a new app. There's always a new app. Always a new app when you print. Keep that in mind. There's always a new application. There's always going to be a new application. Now again, we don't we don't remember why it came. It wouldn't come in. It wouldn't come in. Um, uh, so because uh, I'm an idiot, that's the only reason why. The only reason why that thing didn't come in is because I'm an idiot. Other than that, sometimes us Polacks were always late to the show. When when you're a Polak, sometimes you're late to the show. Now, we'll get to it. We'll get to it eventually. I'm because I'm trying to condense this and let you clap out. The cliff notes. These are the cliff notes. These are the cliff notes. Now, it's in interoperability. It's in interoperability. I want to show you something really, 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 really important. Now, if you're not paying attention, you don't care, and then that's fine. But this is really important because you try to make a 36 by 50 inch piece of paper. <laughs> you try to configure a plotter to, to map pens to line weights and widths and, and see, how, see how hard it is. And see if you can get through a gateway server at 255.255.255.0. Good luck shipping it over to the Port Authority. Good luck. That's all I'll say. 
And I never even had a Cisco class. I want my son, my stupid, my son, my, 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 the pride, the apple of my eye, my boys, I, I, you know, Scott's over there at Best Buy. And he, he doesn't know he's out there chasing chicks with his motorcycle, his crotch rocket, his rice burner. And, uh, you know, he, he had some anger issues, you know. I just, I wish this kid would just get with the program. And he is, he's in sales now a little bit. He's out on the sales floor. You know, he, when I come in, he's like embarrassed because the way I look. And I'm like, he's like, you know, stay the fuck away, Dad. Don't fuck this job up for me. And I'm like, how much is he going to yield? <laughs> he been through all the sales, but and he gets, Scott just walks away shaking his fucking head. <laughs> he gets mad at me. But I just want to kind of, you know, put, he thinks I'm a little strange, and that's, that's obvious. But what he doesn't understand is the method to my madness. You know, this stuff is, uh, it's important to know. And now he's, he's in that environment. I'm very happy with that. He's real close to the Holland Tunnel. You know, and I, I like to see him. You know, these kids, you know, they went, they went Wigger for a while. They were going to Wigger. Real, they, oh, they were really going to Wigger. And I didn't want it, man. I didn't want them to go to Wigger. You know what I mean, bro. I didn't want them to go to Wigger. That's just how it was. And that's how it's going to be. And I'm sorry if you don't like that. But there's a... Uh, there's etiquette and manners involved. It's maybe something you don't understand. In any event, let's just uh, keep that to a dull roar between me and my uh, Nubian princesses. Uh, now, that being said, okay, so how did I get this paper so big? <laughs> and how did I get it to do that so, so eloquently? Well, um, it's a matter of notes. <laughs> it's a matter of notes. Someone's going to lose a, a note. We just lost a whole bunch of notes here in Bayonne. A whole bunch of notes just went up the fucking chute. It lasted from the, the, the zoning board came down, and what do you know? Puff, the magic fucking dragon showed up. And I'm just a fucking big fan, man. Just a big fan. But again, I can't say enough about this shop. Okay? I can't say enough about this shop. Tony, Danny, and Rob Sedita. Danny Sustic. Rob Sita and some dude named Tony. That's all I know about them. But the thing, you know what's weird about this shop? Let me tell you something weird about this shop. The Abner Luima case. That's what's weird about this shop. Justin Volpe. That's in between the lines. Okay? Just keep that in mind. I'm always paying attention. I'm always paying attention. <laughs> and again, you know, maybe sometimes, you know, cops are so traumatized by what they have to fucking deal with in the jungles that they act out in bizarre ways. That doesn't necessarily mean that they need to do you know, hard time. Maybe they need to go to a fucking sanitarium, for Christ's sakes. And again, this is my opinion. I get to make opinions. I haven't said anything. I just read the, I read, I read it in the rags, man. I read it in the rags, and then I make my opinion. But after the fact... After I get the fact, after I see the facts, I get the facts, I know the facts. And that's just how it is. And if you don't like my point of view, change the fucking channel. In any event, that being said, I got to get Jiffy Bake, chopped onions, hot dogs, drop soup off the boys, pasta sauce, Parmesan cheese, and bread. I called Hudson Urology for Cipro and penicillin because I'm afraid I'm going to catch something bleeding in the fucking air around here. Fucking jungle fucking music. Everywhere you go, boom, boom, boom. Driving up a fucking wall. Boom, boom. And it's my fault. I'm the one drinking all the fucking coffee. That's a black people's fault. It's this cracker. Black people. Like from Davy and Goliath. Davy and Goliath. Can't you just call them people? And he, they're absolutely right. If it, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the African-American community. I'm just letting you know that. So if anyone wants to try to call me a racist, I'll punch the first nigger in the mouth that says it. Anyway. Now, that being said, okay, so how do I get this paper so big? Well, check this out. Plot, right? Plot. Now, drawing to PDF, look at all these goddamn plot drivers. Look at this. Okay, this is what has to deal with the ADCO. Hey, hey, no, absolutely nothing comes before the A, right? That's a lot of plotters. And that's, that's not even all of them. Let's go to the top. Oops. Let's go. Look at all these plotters. Look at this. None. It's always a good one, right? But look at it, just one after the other. One after the other. I don't have a license for Blue Beam, but Blue Beam is a wonderful program. 
That's going to be acquired by Autodesk eventually anyway. They're all going to be acquired by Autodesk. Um, you have some JPEGs and some PNGs. And again, depending on where you send this, what, what you know, lossless compression, all that good stuff. Um, <laughs> lossless compression, isn't that a darker light beer? But what I did was I, I used just join a PDF, went to properties, and I went to custom paper sizes. And I created the five-foot radiator hose <laughs> for chicks that need to get cooled off. And I just added it, and I started from scratch, and I went to next. And the current paper size is 36 by 60. Well, it would have been whatever current paper size that I had going. And I just changed this. This is where it gets, this is where it gets goofy. Now, when you get a large format plotter, you, get, you know, paper comes in 36 rolls, 36-inch rolls, 32-inch rolls, 48-inch rolls. And you got to remember something. Um, if you print by 36 by 48, it's a wide format plotter, and the 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 the, the width of the plotter is. I had to look down, right? The width of the plotter is 30. I should not have had to look down. Damn it! I'm so bullish. The width of the plotter is 36 inches. 48 is going to be your height. So feeding into the printer is height. She <laughs> said, "What? How is that possible? I'm standing at eye level, but height is feeding into the plotter. It's a ball. I told you, it's a ball." It's a ball. Okay, so now, so what I do is just change the width of the plotter, which is the actual width of the format going in, to the height, which is what you're feeding in. Height could be 150 feet, 150 foot roll, right? Some of them come in 150 foot, 20 pound bond paper, high glossy, all that good stuff. Go ask Vital Signs over there up by Russell's Auto Body. They know all about this shit. They got much nicer paper than me. They robbed me. $10 for an 11 by 17 glossy. I got have, have a bone to pick with that gentleman over there. All right, in any event. So let me just, um, don't go over there if you're stoned. You'll get all fucked up in there. They also say incandescence and ultraviolets. And it's like a big fucking bug zapper. All right, so hit, you hit next and boom. And there are your margins. I got a half inch on this side, half inch on this side, half inch on this side. But um, there's a reason why mine's a little thinner. Cut it thin to win. And then uh, this is the name. Well, I, I'm going to cancel because I already created the five foot radiator hose. I'm going to hit cancel. And that's how I made the paper. Now, if I would have put it on um, previous paper size, 22 by 36, you'll, you'll see, you see, it's, it's a ratio. It's a golden ratio. Just like that piano thing I've been posting. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a note. It's a ratio. When you hit a key on a, 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 a computer, a binary compiler produces two tones. Eight bits in a byte. Right? Shannon's. Anyway, I'm just trying to give you uh, um, understanding. Now, let's take a look at the pen style table assignments. Um, color, a, uh, American Institute of Architects, color, line weight by object. Um, line weight by object. AIE line weight by object. CTB. Now, there are STBs um, and there are CTBs. And um, we're gonna, we can't get into that right now. I can't get into that right now. But there's monochrome. There's um, all sorts of Kodachrome, um, there's all sorts of pen weights, pen styles, and um, pen assignments that you could do. Now, if we go into the pen style assignment for this particular uh, plot driver, you'll notice that color one, two, and three. Now, green is going to use the object color, which is green. Red is going to use the object color, which is, you know, use the object color. Um, use object line type. So if you have a line, which is an object, and um, it's green, it's going to use the object color. It's not going to go by layer. It's not going to go by layer. You, know, you can print by layer, by object, by, by line weight, by, I mean, by, uh, by color, by layer, all that stuff. And there's a lot. Now, you see pen number automatic. You can assign a pen to this. You can say, you know what? I want, and these are numbered 1 through 255. There's 255 pens on your palette. You could say, okay, well, you know what? I want to assign color one to pen three. And everything that's red will print green. And people do all this crazy shit. And you, you got to remember something. These colors are coming at us. Horizontal scan lines. This is a cathode ray tube, man. It's a, a, an analogous and synonymous with it. Um, it's, and it's not a girl that has no brain and walks around fucking the football team to reproduce clones Man, it is to a certain extent, but um, people are human beings, man. You can't create manifestations. Are you an illegal alien or not? You know, 
And I think there's a lot of illegals come. I had I had one come up to me today. Illegal alien. I, I I structured my query around it. Next thing you know, I saw it riding ten speed, fucking eastbound, <laughs> looking for fucking dope. Anyway, um, a lot of illegal aliens around. And what are you gonna do? Anyway, so again, there's so many different variables here. So again, now what's gonna happen is that irregardless of the fact that we are bringing this in um, the way we had uh, assigned the pens to come in based on the AIA, American Institute of Architects, line weight and line color, which would assign uh, a line weight to a color. It's, it's going to grab whatever it is in the AutoCAD drawing. And it just so happens to be that this could very well be synonymous because I went AIA line weight by object. So if we look at it again, and if I read the passage, it says, for inserted CAD files, layers within the file are assigned a Revit line weight based on the weight assigned to each layer by the CAD, by object, by layer, by object, by layer. For inserted CAD files, layers within the file are assigned a Revit line weight based on the weight assigned to each layer by the CAD software application that created the files. If the layer line weights are set to default in the CAD files, they will follow a translation template. You can configure that maps the layer colors to the Revit line weights. To access these settings, select the Insert tab and click the dialog launcher at the bottom right of the import panel. Doing so opens the Import Line Weights dialog box. Well, Insert, lower right-hand corner, now, anything that's on the default pen, the, uh, drawing the color one, what was it, red, right? Red, uh, red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green. Right? Not RGB, red, yellow, green. Red, green, blue is the, uh, RG, uh, RG, uh, the primary colors. RGB are the primary colors, red, green, and blue. But notice what exists between. These are the audio and video. These are the audio channels. And these are the video channels. We're carrying audio and video on the cyan and yellow channel of the spectrum. That's the audio and video carrier. How else do you watch TV? <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> Sitting on the couch. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. I do. Mm, yummy. I love potato chips. In any event, that's the uh, long and short of it for the, anybody, artists out there. Now, these are psychotropic colors. You know, I used to, I remember when I was younger, really young, I was sitting doing blow. In Lincoln Tech, my last week, I think it was my last week of Lincoln Tech, I made honors. My last week at Tech, I was, I was coked up. I was coked up. And I was freezing at the screen. Oh, my Lord, my jaw locked. Just being frozen into this. It's holding still. Even that was good. Even as a draftsman, that even works because you're you're so you're so focused, so tight. Your eyeballs don't move. You're you're drafting. You're holding taut. You're holding taut. It's great. I couldn't have a conversation with anybody. I even had vodka in my thermos. My last. I, I went. You know, two years at that school. I made honors, but the last week, whew, I fucking vegged the fuck out. True story. Anyway, you know. I learned a lot. There's a lot that's new. There's a lot that's new. You know, scroll down to get to know me. In any event, this is neuroscience, folks. <laughs> scroll down to get to know me. So, um, and look what, look what beautiful shapes come out of it. Um, when you're too well, I would, listen, the last thing that I'm doing is advocating drug abuse. That's, the last thing that I'm advocating, because mm -mm, the, it wasn't a foregone conclusion that would have come back from that abyss of despair and hopelessness. And as there was no, it wasn't a foregone conclusion. It wasn't a foregone conclusion because misery loves company. You'll get an ad, an addict will get you to use before you can get them to quit. Know that to be fact. Send me dead flowers. In any event. Um, okay, so we got a, a general understanding of that. That'll be helpful to anyone that's following along. Um, now, if we go back, 
to uh, the Revit tutorial, and we just say OK, and we go to Link CAD. Now we're not going to get into the uh, Auto Link uh, shared coordinates because it's going to come into the right. It's going to come into the right, and there's a reason for that. I'm not getting into it right now. The, the world's flat. How about that? The world's flat. Columbus was wrong. Only problem is we don't remember where this was, right? This was in interoperability, I believe. And BIM 360 makes this a little different. This is interoperability, VPL, um, Volpe level one. Internal origin to origin, center to center. Level one, place at level, uh, I only have a level, I have level one open, cancel. Let's go to level two power. Let's turn on the, check this out, I'm gonna turn this on first. All right, ready? So we're gonna link it in. I'm gonna link in the CAD. Data. I'm gonna go to a little, 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 little. go here. We'll go to interoperability. Working with consultants. You're looking at one. All right, VPL. What exactly do you do here? It's like office space. All right, so level two. Blah blah blah. I'm gonna go center to center on this one. Preserve. I can bring black and white. If those pen widths are good, little plot good. Ain't nothing wrote code of Chrome. Ain't nothing wrote code of Chrome. I can bring them in black and white. Sometimes you don't eat all those colors, but some form and insist. And, and, and you do have to use a lot of colors. You think Foreman really want to sit in the field with all those highlighters and do that all day? I think so, yeah. I, was good. I just screwed myself. Yeah, they probably do. All right, so um, they run the show. I'm, I'm not a general Foreman. All right, so I'm going to preserve those colors and hit OK. And it's going to take a bit. It's going to go to cyan. Perfect, perfect time for me to get some psychotropics. Perfect time for me to smoke some phosphates and some psychotropics, some nicotine additives. Known to the state of California to have California, California emission laws. Wait till I start telling you my story about Skid Row. Crystal methamphetamine. My studies out there, that population. I wasn't addicted to it. I, I just let you know, there's some other things on the West Coast. And it has a lot to do with glass and um, uh, monarch butterflies, and chrysalis and crystallins. It has a lot to do with insects. A lot to do with insects. And you're talking to the biggest bug study there is. I was, I was big on bugs when I was a kid. I was, I was really big on insects. So I was big on them then. It was a hobby. It was a hobby. I was fascinated with the natural world. Oceanography, ge geoscience, the arts, the sciences. Yeah, I got laid for the first time. Then all I wanted to do was crawl back in. It's off to the races. Fucking like a bunny. Fucking like a bunny. I made a lot of mistakes along the way, man. I made a lot of mistakes along the way. But the more and more I get better, the, the more and more I feel less guilty about some of the heinous things that I did. I, I'm not. I'm not going to say I was. I wasn't. I wasn't Joel Steinberg. I wasn't. Um, I wasn't uh, Eileen Warnos. And I wasn't. Uh, who else wasn't I? I wasn't Andrew Sadusky. I wasn't Charles Manson. I wasn't Jeffrey Dahmer. I wasn't half the motherfuckers I met in Glynn County Correctional Facility or Volusia County Correctional Facility. And I didn't really spend. I've never really spent much time in Hudson County jails. Never. I was barely in them. <laughs> I was barely in Hudson County jails. It was when I was displaced from 9-11. Everything went downhill. I, I walked the earth, but I had a really good walk. All right, so it's in there. Oh, no, it's still thing. There it is. Okay, now here it is. Here it is with the, um, with the uh, reveal hidden elements on. Now, notice how the fonts weren't mapped. The fonts weren't mapped. Now, and notice the hue and the black outline of the fonts. Let's zoom in really close. And you see how you, you don't see the black outline? But the further you go back away, you'll start to see, you start to see ebony and ivory. You'll start to see ebony and ivory. Now, let me just turn off reveal hidden elements for a second. Now, the yellow will get a little brighter. But you try plotting that out, you're going to have some serious problems seeing it on paper. Now, this plot configuration isn't, um, isn't set up. But 
there's absolutely no reason that the, the opposite is true. We could start modeling based on this chalk line because you can snap to these grid intersections. If I wanted to draw another concourse <laughs> connecting over to LaGuardia, to the air train. Now this is in 3D. Okay, this is in 3D. Let me just read this. All normal receptacles and small power circuits in this zone shall be fed from panel on PW5B1F, unless otherwise noted. All standby receptacles and small power circuits in this zone shall be fed from panel on PSBW5D1F. All right, so I'm just going to make that like that. Cancel. Now I'll go to the 3D view, and you'll, you may be able to still see the CAD. Right. Well, there's the new wall. And here's, this is just a 2D drawing. I got the same thing in reverse from from Medwin when I was working at LaGuardia. He gave me the same thing, he gave me a, but it, it was a chalk line. It was a chalk line. And again, now you have you have chalk. Like your kid said, here, Dad, look, I drew you a picture. Like, Great, I'll build a house just the way you drew it. You have a chalk line. This is not an insurmountable thing to do. I only had an associate's. And, and I'm able to comprehend a lot of this. And uh, I'm sure I'm going to run into a wall. I'm going to run into a wall. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be a learning curve. Everyone's going to learn to run into a learning curve. Hopefully mine will be, um, I got I got a lot of years left in me. And, and I think, you know, healing comes with uh, how you think. And if you think you're going to get sick, you're going to get sick. If you think you're going to get better, you'll get better. It's all based on your perspective. Don't base anything on conjecture. You'll be fine. You'll be fine, I'm telling you. You'll be fine. Don't base it on conjecture. I'm just telling you, if you start basing things on conjecture, you're gonna, you're gonna find life is gonna really uh, throw you a speedball. <clears throat> it'll, it'll throw you a speedball. Like that one. Pick, 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 pick. It is what it is. Was there anything else I wanted to show you before I ended this video? This is long. Uh, was there anything else I wanted to show you? Not in this one. I think I've, I've made my point. Um, again, setting up a well, <laughs> setting up a plotter in Revit is a little different. And uh, I can, we can't get into that right now. We're going to get into plotting and publishing down the road. Um, because you can plot, you can publish, and you can... Um, output these CAD drawings. You can output to CAD 2D from Revit. You spit out DWG 2Ds. This came from Revit. And now I'm bringing it back into Revit. Revit, I'm reading you the alphabet backwards, man. It's reading the alphabet forward and backwards. That's why when you make a phone call, it goes from the local exchange terminal to the digital access cross connect to translations. Do you understand? Does that make sense? Am I well within my faculties? I think I am. I think I am. Um, and if you're not, know that it's, it's a chop suey, a judo ginsu, chop chop. And I wouldn't want to see anyone fall by the wayside. I'm not. A uh, vindictive man that holds any malcontent. Um, just a regular guy and a big fan of Sports Illustrated. You know what I mean? Man, 